if you don't already know, there was a Game Awards award for player's voice and Frontiers was nominated and we lost to Genshin Impact. I'm not here to gloat about the fact that we lost because I'm obviously very upset that the Sonic lost, naturally. But we might be able to redeem ourselves this time, right? Because there's another award that we got to talk about and Tomoya Atani, big soundtrack developer, soundtrack developer, he worked on the OST for Frontiers and he's been working on Sonic OSTs for years. Obviously he did 06, which is the greatest Sonic OST, has given us a big tease. And as the year comes to an end, we need this tease. Looking forward to 2023, because if there's not enough Sonic content in 2023, then our lives are meaningless. So I'm gonna get to all this right now. But if you subscribed to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and hopefully 10,000 subscribers before DLC Frontiers comes out. Now, what am I talking about? What we can see here from Sonic Official JP, and you can tell they're official because they got the check mark, although Elon's got like a million check marks now. But it says here, uh, one sec. Award Steam Awards 2022 for games released this year, Sonic Frontier was nominated for best soundtrack. Voting starts today. Dear fans, please vote. They're begging fans to vote. They're like, we saw what you did with the Game Awards, but you're going to have to do more this time because <laughs> you lost the Genshin and they obviously outvoted your asses. So if we go to the Steam Awards page here, you can see it says, vote now. You've chosen the nominees. Now we need your help in choosing our winners. Place a vote below in each of the 11 categories before January the 3rd at 9 a.m. Pacific to share your top Steam games of 2022. You also earn a random card from this year's set of winter sale trading cards for each vote you cost. So winners will be announced on the 3rd of January. So if Sonic wins, then you get to start the year off strong. Like, within the first week, the Sonic has won an award. I mean, isn't that amazing, right? But yes, we can see the categories. You've got Game of the Year, VR Game of the Year. We can scroll through. So see Game of the Year, obviously Sonic's not nominated for that. you got God of War, Stray, Elden Ring, Dying Light, Modern Warfare. But yes, VR Game of the Year. Also, speaking of which... We need a good Sonic VR game, like seriously. I mean, I know the VR is not as big because it's not on all the consoles yet. It's still kind of getting popularity, but like if they can commission someone to make a Roblox Sonic game, I mean, you could get some third party team to make some cool VR Sonic game just to test the waters. They don't have to put too much budget into it. I mean, you could even reuse levels from previous games. I mean, you do that in the main series, but it'd be nice to see an official Sonic VR game it would motivate people to get into VR more, you know? But anyway, they've got Labor of Love, a game that's been out for a while and, you know, they've continued to nurture and support the game. You can see, like, No Man's Sky and Cyberpunk because they've got hella updates. But, yes, yeah, so let me skip to the Sonic. Oh, Better with Friends, uh, Outstanding Visual Style. Oh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, I'm going to vote for that, actually, because that's, like, my favorite-looking game ever, like, graphically. Like, this game just beautiful. But, yes, let me skip to the Sonic. Best game you suck at? FIFA, really? Okay, best soundtrack. Here we go. The unsung hero deserves to be recognized for his outstanding musical store. It's the OST with the M O S T. Oh, with the most. Uh, um, yes, you can see um, Metal Hell Singer, Final Fantasy Eight with Seven Remake, Integrate, Persona Five Royal, Hatsune Miku, um, and obviously Frontiers. And I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I haven't played any of these other games, right? I'm fucking casual. What can I say? I mean, I've played Final Fantasy before. I haven't touched Persona. I've, I know about Miku, but I don't play it. I've, I've heard of it. I've seen people stream it, but you know, we're gonna vote for the Sonic because it's the Sonic, not necessarily because it's the best option. Because I, I mean, I could sit there and listen to all the soundtracks and compare and be like, to make sure my option is legitimate. But we're gonna vote for the Sonic, right? But yes, outstanding story, rich game. You can see Spider Man's in there. Oh, I need to vote for that actually. Sit back and relax. Best game on the go. But yes, Frontiers has been nominated. Now to vote. You need a Steam account. Now, I don't know what the restrictions are. Is it like a... Because sometimes they have date restrictions. Like your account must be a certain amount of time old so that they can't flood the servers with a bunch of new Steam account bots to try and rig the vote. Maybe your account has to be a certain age. I don't know. Maybe you have to purchase the game of only for just to make it extra rigid, right? How are you going to vote for something you ain't bought? I don't know. Maybe you have it on another platform. I don't know what the rules are. But if you already got a Steam account, you probably should be good, right? So if you want to vote... You can vote, and we can start the year off with Sonic winning an award. And of course, speaking of Frontiers, Sonic Frontiers is on sale right now for $41.99 on Steam. It was originally $60 for the main version, $70 for the Digital Deluxe. And for those of you brethren in the UK, all right, you can see here, it says £34.99, so 30% off for the main version of the game. £38.49 
for the later version. It says the offer ends 5th January. Getting that little discount in so that people go and vote, you know, it ends after the after the vote's done. Anyway, the point is, if you want to get Frontiers for cheaper, you can now. This is the best time to do it. Christmas deal, as I said, this is going to happen. And, yeah, there's also that new holiday cheer suit DLC, which I haven't tried yet. It's just a little runner's outfit, I believe. But, yeah. But we're not done yet. We've got shit we need to talk about, okay? Because this was tweeted. As we already know, I just talked about that. But things need to be said because... Otani quote tweets it, as I said, he did the soundtrack, and he says here, The Sonic series has a good reputation for music, but it's rare to be nominated for a game award, so I'm very happy at this point. Please vote if you like. He's not even forcing you, say if you like. If you don't feel like it, don't vote. If I win the award, I think it will give me momentum for next year's production. That's more momentum that's in the game. I'm joking, I'm joking, please. Don't, no. Cool with the pitchforks, okay? <laughs> he said it will give him momentum for next year's production. Next year? Are we getting something next year? By our time? And then someone responds, next year, you say? And please don't copyright me for that. And he says, yes, I'm going to work next year. And you can see it's going crazy. 935 likes, and it was just posted barely like an hour ago. Not even a full hour. They got a views thing on Twitter now for tweets. Man, Elon, what is he doing with this app? Anyway. He says he's going to work next year. Otani has confirmed that. Let me leave that page because I don't know what the copyright is going to do there. But he said he's going to work next year. That is heavily hinting at that 2023 modern 2D game that has been rumored before. And it's like a modern 2D game. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, with Amy as well, playable. And I'm really hoping that thing is happening because I want a game next year. And it's not going to be a main series game. I mean, we're getting Frontiers DLC though. He could be talking about the Frontiers DLC, like new songs for that, you know. He could be talking about the modern 2D game, or maybe even something bigger. Like, maybe he's m composing music for the Knuckles spin-off show that Idris Elba's gonna be in, or I feel like Paramount would have their own people for that, though. But yeah, it's looking like it could either be the Frontiers DLC, new music, or maybe on top of that, modern 2D game. Who knows at this point, but... Either way, man, I'm looking forward to what Otani is going to be cooking up as long as it's not just EDM and it's, you know, the other shit, like the other stuff in the Frontier soundtrack that was not EDM that I actually liked. If you want to know my thoughts on the Frontier soundtrack, like really want to know my thoughts, you can check out this live stream I did here where I basically ranked the entire Sonic Frontier soundtrack in one stream plus forces as well. It was an eight hour stream. It was long. Okay. But yes, I ranked everything. So if you want to see how I feel, because some people be like, he hates the, the OST. I don't hate the OST. I just wasn't a big fan of the EDM. But yeah, so looking forward to seeing what Atani is going to be cooking up. Hopefully the modern 2D game is a part of that. It'll be really cool. But yeah, I don't know what you guys think about all of this. Are you going to be voting in the Steam Awards for Frontiers? And are you looking forward to what Otani is going to be cooking up? What do you think he's going to be cooking up for? Do you think the modern 2D game is still happening? And of course, a big shout out to all my channel members. If you want to become a channel member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure to check out the non-Sonic channel. The link will be in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out.